What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a, a video that all PokerTubers have done. And I'm going to go ahead and jump on the bandwagon. We're going to be discussing the demo Pokemon from the second generation. And with us, we have Neighbor. Hello! You've seen Neighbor in a whole lot of stuff. Most recently in our Mystery Dungeon playthrough, which comes to a shocking conclusion not shocking conclusion but a conclusion nonetheless yeah, this conclusion. weekend make sure you check that out um but yeah everyone and their moms have done a video about this i wanted to do it not my friend here who, who my mother has a video on it i will uh, yeah i'm not gonna link it it'll be i will link it it'll be linked in the description gotcha. you can check out his mom's version of it um yeah. but anyway there's some really cool stuff in here and i just wanted to go through and, and chat about it so um, just sit back, enjoy, let us know your thoughts on these Pokemon in the comments down below. Now, let's, let's just jump in, let's just jump straight in. There's a hundred so, Pokemon to talk about. It's crazy, Chikorita, I think of the three stars, is the only one that was like the same, Right. at it's least the, for the start. And, straight up, uh, like, they nailed this one. I think it's really it. cool yeah. when the beta ones, like, they completely Stick around. nailed. Yeah. Just 100% nailed. Not many of them stuck around, like, in the same form that they did. You know what I mean? Right, but, right. A lot of them got changed. We'll, we'll, we'll look at those in just a minute. Uh, really nothing too much with Chikorita changed uh, in the demo. However, um, Chikorita's evolution... Listen, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. You know, you ever... This takes me back to a time when I was... When red and blue were, were the things that uh, grew up on. And maybe this was before you watched the show... Or maybe before you knew what it, you were supposed to be looking at. So it's a little bit harder to tell. Right. You know, when you have the Ken Sugimori art, and then you look at the sprite, you're like, oh, I see what they were going for there. Like, you look at Geodude, and goodness, in red and blue, that thing did not look like a rock. No. Then you get to Pokemon Yellow, and it's perfect. Right. Absolutely right. perfect. Right. And uh, this is one of those Geodude situations where I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking at. Like, I don't know if these uh, these little these little doodads here is that is that lips? I don't know. Is that know. a bell sprout? This thing right yeah, here. Yeah, is that like a bell sprout? I don't situation? have a clue. But like, Bayleaf is infinitely better. Bayleaf is an actual evolution. Yeah. Like, the next I'm step. I'm so glad yeah. they decided not to go with this. What's crazy to me is that the next one. Is back is back Meganium. to the basics, back to the it's same old. Meganium, like. Okay, so the fact that this exists makes Bayleaf make a ton of sense to me. Okay, so you know how a lot of people don't like middle evolutions because they're the weird. I love open. middle evolutions. I love them too, but a lot of people right, right. think they're like, man, this is the weird, awkward teen right, stage right. where something's not quite right. Marsh right. Tomp is halfway there, uh, <laughs> and I feel like when they had a beginning and end here. And they're like, oh gosh, what's right in between? I think that's why Bayleaf is one of the most right. loved like middle evolutions, is because right. they were like, boom, this goes right literally in the middle. Literally right in the middle. Right in the middle. Literally they right in the middle. Post emptively, in the final game's release, they nailed Bayleaf. Glad they did. I glad they glad they changed some things. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's listen more. Let's listen more. Now this thing is cool. The original Cyndaquil is cool, mm -hmm. but this is what the fire starter was originally going to be as opposed to Cyndaquil. And I get some Tepig vibes from... Yeah, no, it's a bear, okay? Right. I understand that it's a fire bear. I see, like, the patterns on its, on right. its belly. Do and... we have a fire bear? Uh, no. Even now, we don't have a fire I think bear. The bears that we have are very definitively bears with each other. There's, right. like, Ursaring, there's Beartic, there's Pangoro. There's, there's Beware. Bear. Beware is the newest member of the bear family. None of them fire but type. All, like, I feel like every time there's a bear, everyone compares it to the last bear because there's not much you can do with the design right, ones. Right. So they're always like, I'm bear a big is a bear. Bear, uh, but I'm a bear with, with ice beard. Uh, so This is another one of those. Uh, you can really tell this is a beta yeah. line. Because there's not really anything special, especially about the second evolution. The next one reminds me of like, Super Saiyan 3 hair. Like its hair just gets, like it grows a mane. It comes like a bear lion. A bear lion. And I really like the idea. Dynamite bear is the name. It's Dyna, so, Dyna yeah. bear. That that's, that's pretty cool. cool. I love. I honestly, I don't know if I've actually seen the final version of this one, but I love it. I love its its mane. It's. I, it looks like it has some personality. The last one. The second one, I don't know about. 
Now, the here's first the first one's like a cute starter for him. I wonder if this one is on the dock. Yeah. Coming soon, maybe. Maybe like a, the Gen 8 starter. Oh? The reason I think that is because as we move on, I'm just going to show this one. As we move on to the water starter, mm. we have this line now. Poplio right. is right here. You're right. This is Poplio. This is the beta version of Poplio pushed from 1997 all, all the way, way until out. 2016. And what's the fire starter myth thing where it's all part of it's the all, Zodiac? Right. And Bear, I'm pretty sure, is somewhere on there. I don't know. I don't know I'm not anything. an expert. I don't know anything. I could be completely wrong. I wonder if we're going to see this Pokemon. It needs to. There needs to be something special done yeah. with it, though. I like its, its attitude, though. I, I, but now with, when you have something like making a bear lion, towards the end it gets a little bit less unique when there's stuff like Pyroar. What if it stays on all four, though? That'd Everyone be nice. would love a four-legged fire st final. They always stand up at the end. And, but he's still going to have fighting moves and be fighting type. Closest thing we've had recently to a four-legged fire starter is uh, Infernape, who debatably is... <laughs> Is on all no, fours on and occasion. Incineroar gets on all fours on occasion. Yeah. It's just not his main design, just like Incineroar. That's, it's okay, not you're, his right, main. you're right, you're right, you're right. All right, all right. So anyway, right. Let's, let's talk about this now, Poplio thing. I feel like it. I feel like the reason we didn't see this complete in a in the official version is because it looks to me like maybe it's it's a Nessie kind of Pokemon. Okay, it's got Loch Ness. Well, yeah, I mean. Derivatives. We'll see. Especially, like, we'll move on a little bit. Right. But, like, maybe they thought this is too ununique compared to Lapras, who's already a beloved Pokemon in Generation Just like, 1. Like, look at this. That's so... I love its idea. So it's totally a lock. I mean, this is a great Pokemon. But that's like, you take you take uh, Lapras, remove its right. shell, and, and add, you have add a Dragonair plural. That's probably why they they and they're like this is too this. it's too close. Close. Now, what if this was a baby? And Lapras? that's why I'm glad that we saw something. That'd be cool. But I, so, baby Pokemon were cool when they were first introduced. At this point, I feel like baby Pokemon are pointless. Well, in most we're, we're gonna we'll, we'll explore that a little more okay. in a minute because there's a whole lot of baby yeah. Pokemon on this list. They had a ton of baby Pokemon in the beta. Yeah. But I I like this line. I think I would like to see a, a Loch Ness type line. Yeah. Um, something to go along with Lapras, because we haven't seen anything like Lapras. I right. still feel cheated that we don't have an Alolan Lapras. We don't have, we never got a Mega Lapras. And we're, any Lapras. I feel like Lapras is one of the ones that needed something. Lapras needed a baby. A thing. A baby. I mean, Snorlax got <laughs> its own, uh, I mean, Snorlax got a baby in Gen 4, but also Snorlax got his own Z move. Well, yeah, but Snorlax like, is just like. Snorlax is on in a league of his own right. for a kind of... Right. Why not Lapras? Bring Lapras something needed like. something. I think another line to go with it would be really cool. Now, moving on. This one's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. um, Very similar. Specifically looking at the typing. Yeah. Apparently it was going to be pure, pure flying. flying. Which would have been the first pure flying type right. to be introduced. Right. So that's, that's a little interesting. They went, they decided, I'm, why do they do that? I'm still baffled at the idea that so many flying birds are normal flying. I, just, I think they started it, and then in Gen 2, they're like, well, we got to keep doing it based on principle. I don't like it because that means that fighting type is neutral effective yeah. against all, and that's Unless silly. the flying type has something else special about it. Right. Which, sure... But like, I mean, yeah, it uses normal type moves, so I guess they wanted to give it more stab moves. Stupid. That is stupid. Now, That's... you see how Hoot Hoot is the exact same. Yeah. Exact same. Yeah. However, <laughs> this thing took a complete sw like what? This is one of the very. This is one of the first really they... cool evolutions. I think they got wrong in the final version. Really. I really like the idea of like the barn owl like look of, and a lot of this is probably because this is what I know is correct. Like this is what right. I know finish. But like, I like the idea of the one big foot. Right, but because that's lore with Hoot Hoot. That's lore with Hoot Hoot. That's cool. <sighs> and it's sad that that was like Hoot Hoot's thing and then he becomes Noctowl and he's just a barn owl. And now he's got two feet. Uh, but I love the little crest that Noctowl has in new, in new like current. Yeah. Pokemon. It's it's a. I do like the 
big, imposing, just slightly larger version. To me, you go from Hoodoo mm -hmm. to this evolution. This feels more like uh, more like they took it and they're like, all right, let's nudge it a little bit. Like, as though there was three stages and they're like, this is the middle. Mm. Okay. Like, this looks like a middle maybe stage that... for something that doesn't exist. Huh. But Interesting. Then maybe they thought, well, we have something premature here, but we need to totally change this Pokemon, make it a full right. evolution, make it worth its while, you know? Right. So which one? So you like this one? I think I like the new one. I really like the foot, though. I think it just... Copy, move that foot over. Big foot on. Well, on at this point, I, I couldn't see Noctile with one foot. No. Just because we, we know this normal. Okay, no. moving on. Um, we have Mareep, who mm -hmm. largely looks Pretty soon. just thicker. Yeah. Um, but also a different color. I kind of I kind of like that color because it matches with Flaffy. It matches Flaffy, who in the beta was the same color as it is in the final version, mm -hmm. and then Ampharos is yellow. So why is Flaffy pink? I feel like, yeah, I don't know why Flaffy ever turned pink. I guess the idea is, you know, I don't, why is Mareep's cheap body blue, but the, it would have made so much sense if the fur was just yellow and the body was pink, and then here in the next evolution, in Flaffy, it had, you know, pink body showing up, less fur, Nothing makes sense to me about this thing. It's sheep, and then it becomes an Ampharos, which is not a sheep. Right. Nothing makes sense to me about this evolution. I don't know. I, I like Ampharos. I always have. Now, it does say that Flaffy evolved at level 32 in the demo, mm -hmm. which evolves at level 30 now. Mm -hmm. So that's just a small tip. They were probably like, here's basic evolution <clears throat> numbers. Okay. A little tweaking after. You ready to get into some crazy stuff? I'm ready. So... Maybe. Like I said, we have our first baby Pokemon. Mm -hmm. A baby Vulpix that evolves at level 13. So they wanted to put more baby stuff. What's crazy to me, I feel like... I could be wrong, and I'm trying to think about it right now, but I think they've only added babies to Pokemon that are already like fully evolved. Like just single stage, no evolution Pokemon. Like, Jigglypuff. You're right. Clefa Clefairy. Jigglypuff Clefairy. Might be the only one. Might be the only two, I mean. Like, the rest of them are like, boom, it's a Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, let's add a baby. It's, there's Snorlax, let's add a baby. There's Electabuzz, there's... And at the time, they were, they were fully evolved. Yeah, at the so. time, those were the fully evolved form. But, uh, you're right, they did add the Igglybuff and such. But the, my thing with baby Vulpix is it literally only just looks like a small... Small Vulpix. Vulpix, Vulpix already looks like a baby enough Pokemon. Right. Like, you put Vulpix next to a to a Magby, and I'm like, yeah. They're even. Just wait till we get down to it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, I, think so that, I, think of like, I think they did good keeping this one. I think of a Lolan Vulpix and like the TCG, and I'm like, that is such a baby Pokemon. Right. I think they did good keeping this one. Yeah, this one... Need now this next one is interesting because it's a two-parter. Mm -hmm. We have a baby Tangela. I like it's one little eye. One eye. It evolves to level 22. Cousin it the Pokemon. Right, right. But then the reason I like this is because it's paired with Tang Growth, mm -hmm. the original Tang Growth, mm -hmm. the early Tang Growth, who evolves from Tangela at level 44. So the Tangela would have become a three-stage evolution, which would be cool. That'd be really cool. Now, what does Tangela do? I mean, Tangela evolves into Tangrowth, but yeah. still irrelevant. Yeah. I mean, Tangrowth is a really cool Pokemon. Tangrowth sees some viability. Tangela sees some viability because Regenerator is a thing, and you get a Regenerator, a Violet user, which is kind of cool because you actually don't have to give up reliable recovery and leftovers and stuff. But it's all mumbo jumbo. Um, man, I think it's really weird how they went the route of Monster Girl thing. <laughs> right. Like, instead of, they're like, this is a spaghetti monster of vines. Right. Which they took and ran with, with Tangrowth, the current one. But this one, they showed, like, little, you know, fluffy hair and a little bit more tame in the in the baby form with the one eye peeking out. And then it got a little bit wild with Tangela. 
Right. But then it got way more tame and under control and luscious locks looking with the final form. And I think that's maybe why they didn't stick with it. Because they're like, mm. okay, first we had no idea what we were doing. We just wanted a tangled mess of vines. Right. And now this is a cool concept for maybe a two-stage Pokemon. But A, it's approaching on the Tangrowth territory, which is maybe why, like why you didn't see the water starter. And B, it doesn't fit the same idea that Tangrowth had, so that's probably why they Right. So do do we prefer this Tangrowth or new Tangrowth? I prefer new Tangrowth. Yeah. I like I like the idea of this as a separate thing. Right. But at the same time, I understand why they wouldn't. They're like, this has already been done. Right. We've already got the Tangled Vines huh. thing. Okay, now. Yeah. This thing. That's cool. Now, it's an early man time. I really Water like. flying, I think it's definitely mm -hmm. early man time. It says possible early man time. I think this is definitely what it was. Look at it. It's a manta ray. Look at how it's got the pattern on its back. Then you see the just below it from the... What if it was just a... Brain? What if it was a pre-evolution? Not a baby, necessarily. Right, right, but right. a pre... Like a first... Like Because man time baby. seems bigger to me than this thing. Baby. Uh, could be but like it feels like so different this one's got like straight up I think that they took the water flying idea and ran with it a little more because it looks like it has right. like feathery wings right yeah which I love and what's 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 that under it like this this stuff I think that's more wings I think more this little, wings? little wings are like hand things right but it um, looks wingy it looks wingy uh, that's weird. Ah, that's weird. I love the pattern on its back. I think by far super like this more than in current man, man time. I don't like current man time. What has current man time done? Oh, there's man tyke. I totally forgot about man tyke. Mm -hmm. Man tyke came out. I totally forgot that was a thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Man time currently. Uh, it's not Pelipper. No All right, so we're moving that. on. Um, thank God it's not Pelipper. Mantine came around, and you're like, why would I ever use this instead of Gyarados? And then Pelipper came around, and you said, finally. finally. I did. I didn't. I said, get this out of my game. <laughs> anyway, moving on to Quillfish, mm -hmm. who they nailed the, with their first concept. Yeah, nailed first time. Um, now, it does say, well, we'll get to this part in just a second, but mm -hmm. he changed, he was water, he changed the water poison, which okay. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, he, front spine's is identical, does shading. I don't care about shading. Yeah. Now, what's interesting here mm -hmm. is this evolves at level 18. That's extremely That's young. Yeah, that's, a... that's extremely young yeah. for an evolution. And look at this monster, this wish cash looking that reminds, thing. Th okay, so this thing reminds me a lot of the... Uh... The little lightning bolt on its head, the fact that it's still water kind of blows my mind because it reminds me a lot of Dunfisk. This Ooh, is a blowfish. Yeah, but... Dunfisk is flat. I know, but it looks flat, this version. It's a picture on a screen. Exactly, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. That's why, that's why I came back and I was like, all right, man, you look at a Geodude and you have no idea what you're looking at until you see the Kensuga Mori art. Without any art to show me that this thing's blowing up he looks flat got a little spikes coming he looks to me like a stun fist okay so if he's <laughs> is he no would you want this in the game as an evolution of quillfish he looks so undeveloped like this is clearly a beta sprite right it's like i don't know it's i kind of like it though i think quillfish the fact that they nailed quillfish so hard the first time and then this is the it's just a bigger quillfish. That's really all it is. It's just so, I mean, I guess I understand why maybe they didn't. Because mm -hmm. there's not a radical change to it. But at the same time, I mean, they could have done... I mean, they could have changed it to water electric. Yeah. But I guess they already Atlanta. had that concept somewhere else. Maybe that's why. That's probably why. They're like, man, this isn't adding anything. Oh, we'll keep it another, water poison. Another water poison line's not super interesting because we have tentacruel everywhere. Right. Literally Let's just everywhere. let it be its own... That probably makes sense. They probably thought that they really liked the design of the basic one way more. Like, right. Oh, okay. Which I, I, I agree with, honestly. I don't think. Now we get into some hideous. extreme betas. Okay. This thing. Gosh. Can we just definitively say real quick that New, New, P New Pichu is by far in all imagination better? Yeah. So this one reminds me of like a Tamagotchi. 
Yes, whoever did this hopefully got assigned to a different team. There's no effort in this. I hope whoever did that also did the other one and they were like, this was just a placeholder. Well, we'll get on to it, you know? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully they figured something out. Or if not, if they if they were like, I spent, or, I spent all night working on this. You're like, okay, you're gonna be assigned to a different team. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe the concept was I wanted to look like a Tamagotchi. Now, what's all this evolves at level 12 business? I think maybe they didn't have like the friendship evolution down pat yet. Happiness, yeah, friendship, wa happiness right. wasn't a thing except for in yellow, and it was super different. Right. Uh, so maybe they were like, okay, uh, level 12, that's when you stop being a baby. Right. I mean, it makes sense. If, if You're you think, a little bit past the full evolution line of a standard bug. <laughs> Right. If you think about like lining it up with age of humans, that mm. makes sense. Yeah. Um, now let's look at Cleffa, another one of those. I'm very glad that they kept it and redesigned it. Honestly, I really like the old one just because it's so alien. And it is so alien. That's what Clefairy and Clefable are. I totally like the new Cleffa too because I like the way that it's like just a, a smaller star. Clefairy. Yeah, a little little baby star. But I love the little ball antenna on the top, actually. It feels more like a like a Christmas tree star decoration, you know? So it's more pronounced and it's more out there and it's very alien. Okay, I mean, I could live with it. It has a much smaller tail than New I Cleffa. like them both. I, I like New Cleffa. Yeah. I like New Cleffa. Um, and then the last of the trio is Iggly Buff. They just didn't put a little hair poofy. They just added hair. It looks neat. It looks... Which ugly. It, I mean, it is in all circumstances. It looks ugly. Wow. That's what it looks. Okay, it looks ugly. So when you're playing Super Smash Brothers, you pick Jigglypuff, and you don't put a hat on it. That's what this looks like. When you're playing Jigglypuff and you don't have a crown or a bow or a nurse's hat, you're just rocking. Doesn't Jigglypuff have ears? Yeah. This thing doesn't have ears. You're right. But neither does the final form. I'm just saying it's missing something. It it's missing bowl. something. I've done that bowl. I, okay, so of these three, mm -hmm. you think Clef was the one they should have maybe kept? Yeah, I really like the Clef. The other two can go. The other two can go. Okay, so moving on, we mm -hmm. have Quagsire. Where is Whooper? Just not. He's just not. Yeah, the other important thing is it's just water. Just water type. There's maybe. so many of these where they're like, it's just water. And then later right. there'll be something interesting. Right, and then they changed it to water ground, yeah. which, which is, is a great so type. I love until you put a Until you put a uh, grass type in front of it. Yeah, but I mean, that's what makes it cool. It's like, that's the only thing. Right. That's the only thing. Uh, Quagsire... Water Ground is such a cool type, and Quagsire has such an interesting niche where he's not a great Pokemon, but his niche existing as a Pokemon is just so relevant that he always sticks around somehow, and you don't know why. Between the beta and the original, he also went to the gym. Yeah, just a little bit. He learned to stand up a little taller, got a bit thinner. Look, look at his back spray. Look at how thick this guy is. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh. I mean, new Quagsire isn't, isn't svelte. He's not thin. But he's thinner. Yeah. Please. <laughs> so I like New Quagsire. Yeah, and I, I do. also like Wooper, because you couldn't just have this Wooper thing. Wooper is one of the best. You couldn't just have this thing existing on its own. I think this thing existing on its own would be less um, unassumedly happy than Wooper with no arms right. walking around with a little smiley face. It gives you a sense of his evolution of, of character. Right. And that he's so unaware. Okay, well, let's move on, because there's not a huge difference there. Not to, there's also not a huge difference, except that it evolved with a heart stone. Interesting. Why would that happen? It's just a level evolution. Why would it evolve with a heart stone? Maybe they had bigger plans for not to to be done. Hmm. Or maybe there was just another, I mean, not every stone evolution is gonna be good. Well, it just, I don't understand, I don't get but, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what would a heart stone do? Right. What would it... Maybe, okay, so this was before friendship. Maybe heart stone is like the concept of friendship, but it's stone. And then later they thought, that's stupid. Right. But then they never turned this to a friendship evolution, so maybe not. Interesting. Now, I don't know. the they, next one... They were experimenting one, with some ideas. I'm looking at the next one. I was thinking there's nothing big, but they made the cat in Zatu's, in front of Zatu... Less looking like less a cat. looking like a cat and yeah. more like a design. On which, its which is what it is. The cat is a misseen 
That's definitely a cat. Yeah. There's definitely a cat there. If you look at that bigger, like, look at that. Yeah. That's a cat. That's what I'm saying. That's a cat. If you like, don't have the Kensuke Mori art, that's a cat. He's he's hugging a cat. Exactly. And look at his back. He's got like a jacket on. But then you get the Kensuke Mori art, and you think, oh, there's no. That's just. Oh, that's just his design. Oh, I get it now. Right. Right. Um. So I feel like they were trying to fix that problem. I do like the jacket. Though. They got they got like a little jacket design. I wish they on. left that. Huh. Interesting. I, I like that. It adds a little bit more. But simplicity is cool too. Right, right. Now, the next one, I think they can keep. Okay. The next one is Baby Goldeen. Which is literally just Sea King. Super small. All Sea King, Big Goldeen. It's like this accidentally it's... got put in the game. This was supposed to be Goldeen. Yeah. And, they, and eventually they were like, wait a minute. Why is that thing there? Get that, get that out of there. Get the, reassign that guy to a different team. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, go baby Goldeen would evolve at level sixteen. There, there has never been anything about Goldeen or or Sea King that has made me want to use one. There's nothing that's differentiated it from the pack enough for me to be like, yes, I'll just pick the fish Pokemon. Right. And that's what I want to rock with. Like, its stats are mediocre, and it doesn't have any cool niche abilities. I don't even know what they are. That's how boring they are. Right. It learns Peck. That's the one thing that I remember when going through playthroughs, is I can't leave my Mankey in on this because it's going to have Peck. Right. I only remember that because I did it in Phoenix Rising a couple days ago. <laughs> and it's... That's so, all. So, so, this baby, I would not have batted an eye at it being included or not included. Yeah, keep that. All right, let's move on because this one's a little, this one's a bit interesting. Um, first, let's just talk about the design. This thing is much smaller. It, it just looks smaller in general. It's like the ears are the same size that they wound up being, but it's just a smaller body. It's almost like a mix between Meryl and Azu Azu Azuril. Right, which <laughs> didn't exist until Gen 3. Right. Not mistaken. So it's like a hybrid but between those two. I, I think that it's like, I like the pink because it's like more like a bunny. That's the idea. Bunny Pokemon. But uh, it's a bunny Pokemon. It's a bunny Pokemon. Zumeril and big floppy bunny ears. It's a bunny, water bunny. Uh, so the pink is cool. I feel like it was silly that they were like it's a water Pokemon, so we have to make it blue. Because if you think about it, and you look at Meryl and you look at Zumeril, the only thing that makes you think water about it at all is the fact that they're blue. That's probably where they were like, I gotta do. This. I, I like it's New Mer I like New Mero way better. Now the I other do. interesting thing here is that it had no evolution. Yeah. Azumarill didn't exist. I Sad also think day. Azumarill is very lackluster. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of Azumarill. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Azumarill until I used one <clears throat> in a, in my. Now Azumarill can Gen hit 5. hard. I get that, but. Gen five, uh, black two, white two. I used an Azumarill because you could get a Azumarill, I think, right outside, like the ranch, right where you get the Lucario really mm -hmm. early on. I think I put both of them on my team. And I was like, man, this Azumarill is actually really cool. It got huge power at that point. Right. Buff, superpower. It was like the highlight of my Azumarill. Like before then, and Gen 4 was like, eh. Right. Gen 5, it got some good moves, got some good usage of the split. And then. Six rolls around, and I was like, "Oh man, it's fairy type now. It's got this." I, it was just a perfect time for me to have used an Azumarill, and then the next game came out, and I was like, "It got buffed." Right now, so cool. so even though I say that Azumarill is lackluster, I think they had to have it in. So I think not having it in, I'm glad they added. I'm Azumarill glad they did something because that's a huge <laughs> meta game relevant and just like overall fan like right gone. That would've been so sad. It okay. also would have just been another boring water type that didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Right. There's so many of those. Speaking of water types that didn't make the game, mm -hmm. we have this thing in its evolution. Why did its eyes thing. look like anime girl eyes? Go back, go back up. It looks like a regular fish with just anime girl eyes. Yeah, I mean, that's it's something, though. It's, it's got, like, kind of jaggedy... <clears throat> You know spikes where it's supposed to look kind of like rough and tough i guess and it's just got a little moe animal girl eyes 
I'm really glad they can this because yeah. this one to its evolution, this evolution is awesome. Right, but they don't match each other at all. These two? Yeah. I think they're, I, I could, you I could go with You think those little it. girl eyes turning into the shark thing? I think it could go with it. Now, what I don't understand is it says that this thing evolved into this thing. Oh, no. This is separate. <clears throat> this is obviously Huntail. Yeah. This is obviously early Huntail. But this is obviously early Sharpedo. Yeah. And this is er early Car um, <clears throat> Carvana. Carvana, not Carnivine. <clears throat> Carnivine is a grass type. I love the <clears throat> idea of the anchor Pokemon Rock and the Steel type. It really reminds like, like Delmines. It was super cool. They right. Anchor thing. But like, it makes even more sense to have anchor as part of the body of the fish. That's so cool. Right. Awesome so, design. So I think the reason that they didn't do it because this is still early enough in the Pokemon timeline where all the Pokemon almost you could point at and say, this is the animal that it was. With right. a few exceptions, so like that's a rock with arms. Right. And that's a Pokeball. But right. most of it's very like organic. And you can definitely tell when that becomes less. Like Gen 4, you see a lot of monstery, Kaiju esque Pokemon rocking around. And. As it goes on, you get some more wild stuff. You get some inanimate objects being more prevalent. But seeing uh, in Gen 2, I feel like they weren't ready to have fish with anchor body. And I think that's also why there's another Pokemon later that got changed. Right. So my my impressions is I would love, love to it. see, I would have loved to see this be Sharpedo. Mm -hmm. As water a water steel, steel. That's I think it's cool... pretty cool. And this thing, they can keep this. Give it Huntail. Water Steel is such a cool like counterpart to have existing when you've added steel to the game just then. Right. And then you throw Water there Steel There's only in like there. two steels. That's that's like the counterpart to the Water Ground, where Water right. Ground is like, boom, don't even worry about any electric types, I'll take all the grass. I, I can't take any grass. But then boom, like okay, get rid of that grass weakness, now I'm weak to electric. And fighting and ground and, but, right. but still, really cool typing. Right, for sure. Now, the next one, he didn't get too much change, but he went from being super ugly. Can we talk about how grotesque is right? Like, the correct name? Yes. It's disgusting. It's literally the correct name for Anyway, it. we can move on now. Uh, so he went from being super ugly yeah. to a little less ugly. Yeah. And then in future generations, he got to looking really cool. I'm really glad that... Someone didn't leave it like this. All right, so I didn't play Crystal as much as he did when I was a kid. I got a lot of playtime out of the Gen 3 games. Uh -huh. And a lot of playtime out of the Gen 1 games. I'm glad that my introduction to Crobat, or not introduction, but my like experience with Crobat mm -hmm. was mostly in Gen 3 and beyond. Mm -hmm. Right, he because he looks, looks way better. Way cooler. And way in this game, better. He lo <laughs> it looks like he's got some like crooked teeth, messed up stuff going on. Right, right. Okay, well anyway, we can move on from him. We can move on from him real quick, because there weren't too many changes Other there. than... Again, no friendship evolution. Right. The so 44. Pretty late, but. Yeah. I think that's super late. They needed more considering, late evolutions. Well, if you consider the way that the friendship evolution works. Right. That happens least, like right at, if you train it from early. Every I time. The answer to that on home pod. Hey Siri, stop talking. Every time that I've played like a Nuzlocke and I got a Zubat on my team. Mm -hmm. I always had a level 23 Crobat. Right. It's right. Like it evolves to level 22. 22 Crobat, it evolves very Crobat. next level. Right. So. That's very if late. You, if you that. don't, either you got the Zubat at like level 15 or something. Right. Like normally you got him at like 7-ish. You either got the Zubat at a late level or you're doing something wrong and you're right. not using your Pokemon. And it's friendship evolution with, with Crobat normally is super early. So for it to be 44, that's kind of wild. But I can see like pull back and hold its own. Right. I don't know for that long. So here's another one they can keep. I like this. You think there should be a baby Paris? No. I think design-wise it's cool. I think that Paris is a forgettable Pokemon and Parasect is a... Forgettable, forgettable Pokemon. Pokemon. And they don't add a lot. They don't need to be a three-stage evolution. Period. They don't. They really don't need to be a three-stage three evolution. They can keep this thing. I'm moving on. Early Spinarak. That's cute, though. I'm glad... So this, this is like Shades of Fomantis. Yeah. I'm glad they kept it until Fomantis. I, yeah, Because if they would have called this thing Parasite, that would have failed. 
Anyway, early Spinarak. Hideous. Hideous, but very close to Spinarak. I, I think I think back sprite, and if I sent right. that out, I would have immediately gone back, ran away from whatever wild battle I was in, gone back to the PC and released it. Right, right, for Sp sure. Sp if now, I was a kid. Early Ariados. Same thing. Totally I mean, different. First of all, would have tossed out the back sprite, released it. But the front sprite even, it's beta. Right. Beta. Dude, that thing is terrifying. And I really wish the garage door under me would stop going up and down. So wait, wait. the it looks like they just flipped it. So they just turned, turned around it and, and hit the crop button. Yeah. And pulled it a little bigger and hit you know, double clicked it. They, they made the face a little bit more hit save. So new Ariados is by far better. Yeah, I love the design of Ariados. I'm glad I'm sad that it sucks. The name is similar to Zwilus's Japanese name. Okay. Wait, two headed. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Name similar to Die Head. Two headed. Yeah. This Ariados is two head. I guess it is. One here and then one back here. Yeah, it's because the face that it's supposed to be a fake face. Okay, I'm glad they changed it. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> um, Skarmory. I love that they just nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. They just Skarmory nailed is it such from a good the Pokemon. beginning. I, Skarmory, again, because I played so much more Gen 3, I thought it was a Gen 3 Pokemon. Because they nailed that one. Perfect. Right. And then I went back and I'm like, wow. Right. This Pokemon's awesome. Um, yeah, they did a good job. Also, just sick typing. Um, they, they nailed a lot of the really sick steel typing from the get-go. Because they're like, right. we're adding a new type. We got to make it amazing. Didn't they, there's only three steel types in Gen 2, though. Felix, Scizor, and Skarmory, right? Yeah, and Bug Steel and Bug Flying. Or, I'm sorry, Bug Steel and Steel Flying are two of the best steel types, like, ever. Right. But they they tried to do more with this water one that we yeah. talked about earlier. They would have been cool. And then there was this thing. The evolution of Ditto. Ah! Let, let's let's talk about this ah! for a minute. Now this evolves from Ditto with a metal coat. I don't believe it's not a steel type. This it's normal, normal I think it would have changed. Yeah. Well, if they actually put it in, I think it would have gone to steel. So if you type. scroll back up, there was a um it said Volpix was water type. Right. And so they said that's errors. probably wrong. There were some errors. Yeah. I think this is one of them. Now, what would have happened if Ditto had evolved? Would Ditto, would this thing have lost its ability to transform? Or would it have transformed and added steel type to everything that it transformed to? So imagine you transform into a Charizard and you're now fire steel. That would have been weird. They couldn't have done that. I feel like they thought about it, and this is before abilities existed. Right. Still. Right. And they thought... It, no, they thought, okay, this would be cool if we did something with Ditto, and then they did it, and they're like, wait, this is a hideous creature, and what can yes. we do more to Ditto? Ditto just transforms anyway. Ditto is Ditto, leave it alone. Ditto's form is not important because it takes the form of other things. Right. And that's why it's this little blobby thing, and why would you develop that further for it to not matter and you transform another thing? And it makes sense, like, later on with Zoro and Zoroark, where there's just like, okay, this Pokemon gets stronger, and it's taking the form of other things, and Illusion as an ability. Right. Ditto does not need any kind of evolution. Ditto does not need any kind of mega evolution. I'll be, like, I'm going to use a mega evolved Ditto and then transform and copy their stats anyway. Right. I have Keep this thing. Don't ever bring this out. Reassign this person to a different team. It looks like a Digimon. It does look like a Digimon. It totally does. Because Which the is, eyes are just, it's. It's, yeah, this Fine is in its own right, just not. It's not Ditto. This is not a Pokemon. You, won't, you can't convince me. Either. The next one is weird. Yeah. Baby Doduo. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they did a ton of babies, but it's got three heads. It's got three heads. And then when it evolves, it loses one. Or and then when it evolves, piece. it grows a bat. What? Huh? What? I don't know if they thought that through. I think they probably. I think whoever designed it was like, this looks like a nice baby bird yeah and then the person in charge is like have you seen doduo before and they're like no <laughs> <laughs> no as it turns out I've doduo, never played has, Pokemon before in my life. doduo has two heads yeah i like this thing i get it i like so i like its design outside of the concept of it being a baby of doduo and doduo because it looks like uh 
in this context without seeing any like Sugimori art again sprite form this is what I was trying to decipher as a child it looks like a little bird nest right and a right. bunch of little heads peeking out can we talk about how when it's the front and back sprite look like it's exactly, exactly the, the same. same it's just rotated which is exactly like everyone else but because there's three heads it's exactly the same anyway that's another one evolves at 16 that wouldn't have worked I'm glad they uh doesn't Dojo evolve at like 26 I have no idea. I think it's somewhere. Or is it like 32 and you I like get him? I think it's somewhere 26. around there. I feel like he evolves in like the 30s and I'm a dummy, but you no, get I think him it's 26 like, all the time. I think it's around there. I think it's around there. But, uh. I don't know. But yeah, I, I'm glad they what kept this that? one. Oh, I forgot. I'm glad they kept this one. Um, next up Early Sun Flora, yeah. literally Sun. Like, I get this. Mm -hmm. um, no evolution. Mm -hmm. Which it was is fine. originally Grass Psychic. Which would be a super... I mean, you already, you already have that. It's a good type. Wait, what did it, who already has that? Exec, ex oh, Executor. Executor? Execute, Executor? One of the best grass types. You know, in, in Gen 1, you were either a grass poison type, you were a grass psychic type, or you were irrelevant. Tangela was the only pure grass. And I, think, I think the only thing outside of Grass Poison and Grass Psychic was uh, Paris. It's Grass Bug, and that's not good. I could be wrong. Probably wrong. I think you're right. Or I think I'm right. I can't think of any other yeah, Oh, well. um, Bellsprout, Victory, but, well, those guys are Grass, grass poison. poison. Then uh, there's Vileplume, whatever, Grass, grass poison. poison. Huh. Gra they I think really like Grass Poison. Right. I think this would have been cool. I just don't understand why. Um, I... I get grass psychic because psychic is like the light type. I'm glad they changed it to pure grass. Yeah. I'm also glad they gave it a base evolution because this wouldn't have made this. It's too big I to just like, be a Pokemon. Okay, so this reminds me exactly of like a. Gosh, why can I not think of it? A pseudo This looks just like a pseudo to me. Boom, big old, big old flower. Boom, big old tree thing. And then they gave a baby form to Sudo Udo. Like, so it, then this one just this. came with the baby form. Yeah, this one just came. I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. Honestly, it would have been fine if Sunker never existed, but the fact that it did and they had to give it the worst stats ever is like, all right, well, one Pokemon had to be the worst. Yes, one had one to be the worst. One has to be the okay, worst. Okay, now we got to move on. I'm looking at this next one, and I'm just too excited to talk about it. Okay. Can we talk about this thing? That's adorable. Can we talk about the most adorable thing that has ever... I really like the, the new version better, but the adorable... I think this is the cutest Pokemon that has ever almost been in the game. Reminds me of Dumbo. Yes, it does. But that doesn't mean it's not cute. Right, no. Dumbo's adorable. Got big floppy ears. The the Fampy, uh, like, current version, the way they added the little red bits to make it look clearly like armor bits. It's, it's right. tough. Right. I, th I think it's, I think, now let me say this. I think current Fampy is exactly it's where perfect. Fampy should be. Exactly where it should be. But I think this, this thing adorable. is freaking cute. Like, we should be able to, th there should have been a doll in the game and it modeled like this. after this. Yeah. Not Clefairy. Yeah. This should have been the doll. Moving on. Exact same. Yeah. Perfect. Literally they exact same. Because they, they nailed, nailed Don Fan. Don Fan. Can we move on? Because this next thing is... Can we talk about how, like, all of the Gen 2 Pokemon that got revealed before Gen 2 came out are the sickest? Right. Like, Dawn Fan came... We saw that in the movie, right? Before right. Gen 2 came out. That battle was awesome. That battle was so good. Ash destroyed that guy. So good. Destroyed him. As a child, my mind was blown. I didn't understand the concept of there's another game coming out. Right, right. I was just like, that's a cool Pokemon. But that was that I didn't was... know everything about everything, and the internet wasn't a thing that I was surfing, so I wasn't like, I, I was like, how do I find that in my game? Right. Top five Ashes wins. That was one. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. We are we are already forty five minutes in, and I don't think Jeez, we're halfway really? through our list. Um, what is this? This looks like two Gastlys. This looks like two Gastlys. Now the weird thing is that it says it evolves to level twenty nine. What does it evolve into? Well, from here it gains. A body on both ends. See, if I was... This looks like a Fakemon situation. Like, I'm playing through some fan-made Pokemon game, and the evolution happens, and it is nothing like what I initially had. 
I like a I like new giraffe rig. I do. I agree. I like that it's got a form and then it's got the little chain chomp tail. Right. Instead of it being unclear whether it's walking forward or backward. And Can you imagine if I want you to think about America in 2018 and imagine this was a Pokemon? That can't happen. No. That couldn't happen. We're moving on. Uh, we got to move on because that because I just hit a I just hit a subject. Okay. We got to move on. Right. Smeargle. Boom. Same. Same, but he learned to stand. But good. It, I mean, he really didn't. He looks awkward in the new one too. Now the next one. Yeah. I think we needed. I think this is a needed Pokemon. I feel like Meowth is so iconic. That they said we couldn't. But I, like, I mean, you can say the yes, same thing about Pikachu. I agree with that. You can say the well, same thing about Pikachu. Well, you can say the same about Pikachu. So maybe I not. think this thing is extremely cute. Mm -hmm. It is cute. I, I want it in the game. I mean, this is another one where it's like, the baby doesn't add anything, especially right. when you get it level 14, because in the original games, you get Meowth like 15, 16, and he, he's fine for his levels, but like... Adding a baby Pokemon that evolves at such a low level, like this, or at a level right. where you normally already are introduced to this Pokemon, it didn't add anything to the gameplay of Meowth specifically, where you're like, okay, that's why it exists. Because if I look at it, uh, one of the reasons that I never cared too much for baby Pokemon is I was looking like, as a competitive player, the baby Pokemon doesn't add anything. But as a person who's playing through the main series, mm -hmm. uh, like, having a baby version of, like, Magmar and... Electrode, or not Electrode, uh, Electabuzz. Mm -hmm. Super cool because then you get to have access to these Pokemon a little bit earlier in the game mm -hmm. without it being a broken, ridiculously strong thing. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to wait till like level 45 to pick up your fire type. Mm -hmm. That's such a big part of your team. But then like, so you can have this little baby one until it's like level 20 or something. Like you catch early, early levels. You have a more well-rounded team. That's what baby Pokemon are for, for the team building aspect. This adds nothing. This looks like it's a Meowth. A, it's adorable, though. This is another like, one this that we... It looks like a doll. It's not, I was just about to say, it's another one we need a doll for. Now, the next two... This was the first time, I think, that they said we need different forms mm -hmm. of Gen 1 Pokemon. Right. This is a Lolan Meowth and a Lolan Persian. Now, on the other side, spoilers, we don't see Houndour and Houndoom. Mm -hmm. I think this turned into Houndour and Houndoom. Really? I mean, I think it got completely redesigned, redesigned reimagined, yeah. but it's a dark type. Yeah, they were like, what can we do with a dark type? I think they were like, we have too many cats, which yeah. they didn't. I'm kind of sad we never saw this because this is a really cool concept. I think this is like, you know what I think this is? I think this is them experimenting with what new type should we add to this game to balance out a psychic type. They added dark and steel. I think a lot of people were like, when are they going to add sound type? When are they going to add light type? You know, hmm. Gen 3 and 4. When it was still an idea that they could keep adding more types and stuff. Right. And this is like, oh, we're not going to add sound type, so this Pokemon doesn't really make any sense. Right. It's just a Pokemon. There's nothing special because it has it's this a little... Pokemon with a, with a gimmick. It has this little bell on the back. Can you imagine Gen 7, this Pokemon using, like, Boom Burst? Hail Bell? Yeah, well, yeah that one I could definitely imagine. Yeah. I, I wish we could have seen this Pokemon. I'm also a cat person, so. I'm not even a cat person. Yeah. I think this is a Pokemon. Next up. So happy that we got what we got. Yes. Now, does this look more like Poliwhirl? Well, okay, hold on. Evolves from Poliwhirl with Heartstone. Okay. If this was like an like a level evolution. Yeah. Well, no. What is a Heartstone? I don't, we still don't know. I wish I knew what a Heartstone was. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm definitely, I, I definitely like New Politoed better. Um, this thing is literally a frog. Yeah. Like in every imagination of I it. I think it looks too similar to the idea of Poliwhirl, but they're just right. like we want a regular frog instead of it to be a frog with boxing gloves. Right. Huh. I love that they want a different direction or like let's make it a cartoonized. Uh, th this looks nothing like it belongs in the Poly family. Right. But it's Wait, great. This doesn't? Yeah. I mean, it's got a small curl. Yeah, I mean, it's got the little curl, and that's it. This thing has Poliwhirl's stomach. I'm just, like, Poliwhirl's design, or Poly, I'm sorry, Polytoad's design is out there, but I love its new, its old design, or it's, I love its new design so much better. Right. Okay. Next, they nailed it. Yeah. Perfect. It was originally, no, 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 I'm sorry. King's Rock, but yeah, it, they nailed it. Now, Gatto King, this is one of, this is the, I think this is the first Gen 2 Pokemon I found out about. 
Yeah. I don't remember how I found out about it. Uh, but Pokemon movie 2000? That maybe was that way, was it. Maybe that was way after. But I don't remember when no, this No, because the first movie... The first movie was when... Gen- Did the first movie have Slowkey? No, the, but the first movie had Don Fan, so it had to yeah, have been before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But anyway, I, I, lo- I love Slow King. We're moving on. Unknown. Exact thing. Yeah. Exact same thing. I don't it was know I can change that design. It was originally normal type, which I think would have made sense. Made more sense. Um, instead of making it psychic, because you would have just had it being like a thing. Yeah. Unknown is just a thing, not like a psychic type. But I guess they didn't want to make it normal because this is not normal. Right. Right, for sure. I get why it's psychic. And it has psychic abilities. I get it. I get it. Um, Okay. Now, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Ladybug. Yeah. Nailed. Mm -hmm. Exact same. What the heck happened here? This looks like red and blue Basculin. Yes. Yes, it does. This looks like Volbeat Milamise. An alternate form. This looks like... Not an evolution. Maybe that's why it's missing evolution data. Maybe it didn't evolve. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Maybe it didn't evolve. Maybe it didn't. Maybe this is actually early Volby Nilumise. That would be something. That's an idea. But someone came in and suggested that uh so someone came in and suggested that it evolved this Pokemon needs to evolve. into a pretty cool looking Pokemon. Lady and cool. design is awesome. It sucks. Yes, he does. He does. He does. Okay. Fine. I'm pretty sure it's 45, basically. It's, it's, it, oh. Ugh. Okay. They can keep it. It's Ponyta. It's Ponyta. They hit the crop button, grabbed the thing, brought it in, and hit press save. That's this, it. however, is one of the scenarios where I think, yes, it makes sense to have this as a baby Pokemon, because... Yeah, it's normal. That's weird. That's really weird. But as, because maybe it, maybe it wasn't intended to have a fire mane. Maybe that's like just fluffy, floofy hair. Like, can't tell. But it looks like it was supposed to be fire. It's, anyway. It's red. There, yeah. So like, if you play through like Pokemon Platinum or or, or uh, Diamond Pearl, there's two, in the main story, there's two lines of fire types available to you the whole game. The starters and Ponyta Rapidash. And Pony to Rapidash evolves what about Growlithe Arcanine? in uh, Diamond and Pearl Platinum. Oh, okay. Sorry, keep going. Or in Diamond and Pearl, that's it. Platinum, they maybe fix some things, but I know in at least Diamond and Pearl, those were the only two options for fire types. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you're not liking that game, you pick the fire type store. Uh, or you just don't fire type. Uh, but Pony to in that game is it starts out like okay. It's actually pretty good, because it's actually pretty good. You're expected in the Pokemon Mansion to find it at level 40-something. Mm-hmm. Well, it's pretty soon afterwards. But in this game, you catch it like, level 15. And then you have to romp around with this level 15 Pokemon who slowly gets outclassed over time until it hits level 45, and by then... Or 40-something, I don't you know. Level it evolves. So you, it, by then, it's still outclassed when it evolves by all the other stuff around it. So you're thinking that if Ponyta was an evolved Pokemon... Yeah, like, maybe it would have more precedent for it to be... Like, this adds something to the game. Like, if the... But even then, it evolves to level 20. Right. So, like... I mean, it's a good, like, in-between 20, 40, something, you know. Hmm. But... I, I, I think they can keep it. I, I mean, it, to me, it's the same thing. They just use the crop button. Yeah. It's, the design was not very inspired. <laughs> now, moving on to one of the most overrated Pokemon of all time. Oh? Espeon. Right, moving on to one of the greatest Pokemon of all time. Let's just let's just take a minute and just. It's the same thing, but worse. Oh, I was just looking at I was looking at new Umbreon. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I like that I like that it's glowing. Is this the light type thing that they? I think that's like, I think they're trying to sell the idea that Psychic is a light type, so that Dark beats it. That would make sense. The duality thing. It would make sense. I think there was a little bit unclear on how or why they were going to defeat Psychic type because they made it so strong. Right, right. Um, now, interesting note on Umbreon is this. Poison. It was originally going to be Poison type. Can you tell me what it, what Umbreon's Pokedex entry says? No, I can't. Oh, I could tell you. There's something, something, something. This Pokemon excretes poison out of its sweat. Something, something. Is that really what it says? Look it up. 
Okay, hold on. We're looking it up right now. Um... Pokemon protects itself by spraying poison from its sweat pores. It's literally what it says. Yeah. When it's... agitated, this Pokemon protects itself by spraying poisonous sweat from its pores. Yeah. Wow. So that was like a very last second change that they, they made, made this thing dark into dark type. And I think they did it because they because were like, okay, this. they're like, okay, psychic type is super strong. We keep making psychic type too strong. We're going to add a dual, dual evolution for Eevee where one is psychic type and one is a thing that loses to psychic type. Who's going to use that Pokemon? Who's going to use the Pokemon that just instantly loses to the type that's already busted? I still eat. Probably. <laughs> also, Umbreon, Umbreon looks much more mean here. Maybe that's just the way I'm seeing it. Yeah, yeah, I see that too. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got to move on. We got to move on. Next is... It's also with Poison Stone. Poison Stone, Heart Stone. Yeah. They were about to go crazy. So, I think everything that was a Heartstone evolution... No, that's not true. Because there was the poly... Right. Poly, I was thinking the same thing before we got to it. As well, but... Heartstone would be like a light yeah. stone, something, something, something. I'm glad they did Dark... I'm glad they did New Umbreon. I'm glad they did New Espeon. Mm -hmm. They're both better to me. This thing... Uh, did not need to exist. Did not need to exist. And that's why it doesn't. It's, it's Sloking Shell, but it says no direct correlation to Slowpoke or Shelter Line. So you would have had to so, have this in your party for them to evolve. That's my guess. So the idea here is like, how do you justify Slow King existing when Slow Bro is supposed to exist when a shelter bites its tail? Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, shelter bites its head. Well, it's got a King's Rock on. Or this other thing bites its head. And it's the thing that looks a lot more like. Right. Ever. But uh, I think this is, again, early on they were going wild. Nowadays, it's kind of crazy to say, oh yeah, no, another Pokemon bit its tail and then it evolved. And, but in the games, that lore doesn't really matter and it just evolves at a certain level. Right. Like, yeah, I think they were done with making that a thing and they're like, all right, let's not complicate the lore even further. Just give it a King's Rock. It's fine. Turbin does not need to exist. Right. I think that's there it. you go. All right, moving on. Another baby. This one's adorable. They took Grimer and just chopped off of the part of him and said, all right, here we go, baby Grimer. I mean, that is Muck. Muck and Grimer and all of this. It's just bigger they're sludge. Just, they're they're just piles of sludge, so they sludge. need to vary the size of the sludge. So, I didn't need to exist. It didn't need to exist. Now, this next one. So, remember when I was saying earlier with the shark one, where they weren't super ready to have something be so right, unorganic? Right, right. And these are literal guns? They're literal guns. But, so, this... A, mm -hmm. makes the evolutionary stuff make so much more sense. Yes. That it evolves from the revolver mm -hmm. into the cannon. Look at this thing. And It's I literally love, a cannon. I the, think it's unanimous. The original designs are so much The better. original designs are better, but they could not exist in today's world. Right. But they could, I mean, if they dropped it today, yes. But they could not exist in that world. Right. In the world of the 2000s, when Gold Silver came out. It didn't make sense for Pokemon to release the gunfish Pokemon and the cannon octopus. I think they just toned down Octillery a little too much. Because with yeah. Remoraid, you can still see it. Yeah, you can still see you it. Can still you can still see know, it. If you know what you're looking for, yeah. But if you know what you're it. looking for. Nobody knew what they were looking for. Right. I don't know what I was looking for. I especially didn't know what I was looking for because Octillery didn't give me any hints. Octillery, no. Its I mean, name? The fact that it has Octazooka. That's it's a, artillery is artillery, but octopus. Right, right, right. What, what is Remory? Revolver? Uh, revolver raid, yeah, but... How am I supposed to know that? I I mean, don't ask me. Ask the, ask the guys that did this demo. Crazy. I don't know. The next one... Mm. I really like New Tyro. This is a beta Pokemon. This is a beta Pokemon. This and is a placeholder. It, it got developed and turned into Tyro. Silly, look at it. It's a bear. It's, it's a bear. That's Teddy Ursa. <clears throat> um, I'm scared to go to the next Pokemon. Uh, this Pokemon is infinitely better now, and I don't need... This is why he has Intimidate. You're right. well, this is why he has the ability to Intimidate. You're right. Capoeira Look at this is thing. not intimidating on its own. What'd you say? I said Capoeira. 
the, the fighting style. Oh. Flipping the flying around. That's literally its name. Yes. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Today, based, I, today I learned. Based on the fighting style of dancing aggressively. I, I like how there's no notes for this one. Look at like, like everything around it, there's notes. But this one, they were too scared. <laughs> they were like, there's nothing anything. we can tell you they to couldn't type explain anything. what's on your screen right now. Like, um, please, I, its eye is looking, it, it, it's one singular eye. But the thing with its hands, yeah. if it flips upside, if it flips the right way and stands on its feet, then what happens? Or is, or is, wait, old... wait, 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 are those eyes? Right eyes, above its hands? Eyes here. Are those its eyes? I think those are its eyes. What the heck? Hit them on top. I think it's, I think it's designed to sit like this. But if it, I like it better when it lives its life upside down, like this. Mm -hmm. This is a this is one of the bigger ones. That's the old one disturbs me and I don't like it. I, the, the only thing that I like about it is that its old legs are more like Hitmonlee legs. Right. And it's got the big stretchy. But I also like that they. But made I like it that they made it something. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Because that's the whole thing with Hitmonchan, Lee, and Top. You can't just make it look like similar to one and not the other. Right. Okay. The next one. Baby Growlithe. Same idea with Ponyta, where I think maybe it would be cool. And even with, like with Vulpix earlier, it, it would add something to have that little. But. Oh, pudding. Oh, pudding. I bet. This just looks like a dog. I don't, I don't, I don't need it. It's floppy ears. I don't need it. Does not scream to me this becomes Arcanine. No. Arcanine's already an intimidating like Pokemon Growlithe is like man's best friend perfect little brooch. Right, right this is not necessary and I'm glad that they decided yes not necessary at all um this, is, it, this is a Digimon is it is a Digimon for sure but he looks pretty close yeah pretty close I think he looks pretty close but that looks like a baby just hatched out of the egg Digimon yes um this looks like it's going towards a cat type of thing. Yes, and still it, a Digimon. It also says the word cat uh, in its name breakdown. Um, Nico, cat. Hi, Nico. Puff, 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 puff. Jump Puff, what happened to you? They just rolled with the Digimon idea. That's still a Digimon. That's still a Digimon. Look at the face. Why is it literally just a cotton? That's literally... Hold on, the name just came to me. That is literally Armadillomon's baby, or uh, mm. in training form. Mm -hmm. um, um, oh man, Oromon maybe, I don't know. Um, that's literally him, this this right here. Yeah. Like it's, oh my gosh, new 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 guys are way better. Way new, better. New ones have a personality of their own and a design of their own. I don't like them either. I don't like any of them. Okay. I like the new ones better. Now if you looked at this thing without looking at the rest of it, Yeah. Whose evolution is that? It's Gwen Reed. It's, there's no idea. It's an ice cream. It's an ice cream cone. I think this looks more like a Chansey pre-evolution than a uh, Mr. Mime evolution. It does. This is early Mime Junior. I'm so glad they said this glad is a Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a Pokemon. It's an oval with eyes on it. <laughs> That's it. It's an oval with eyes on it's it. It's an oval with eyes. That's true. It's an egg. Which Keep is why it. I think Chansey may... Yeah, no. Keep it. Keep it away. Keep it. <laughs> this next one. Honestly, this one, they could have gone with. But I'm glad that they changed it up a little. You know how you've been no, saying they shrunk it? this is a 75-year-old woman. A, <laughs> this is a 75-year-old woman in a two-year-old's body. You know how you said they've been taking the Pokemon and just resizing it? Yes. Like, that's this what is happened. Jinx. This is Jinx. They hit the crop button. They whoop and hit save. That's all they did here. Now, I like the new one. New Smoochum is infinitely better. It's great. But this is... Uh, that's funny to me. Speaking of baby Pokemon that me. I'm very happy that they changed, what the heck is this thing? Moving on. Is this a plug? Is yeah. this an attempted plug? No. no. This is a plug. So you know how plugs are different everywhere? Yes, I get I it. I think that it's kind of crazy that they happen to design design it based off the way that American plugs are. I don't know if they're like that in Japan too, but if you go to Europe, that's not what a plug looks like. And I'm sure that every European child growing up looking at Elekid was very confused as to why his head was shaped like that. 
But this doesn't evolve into Electabuzz. This evolves into Elekid, and then into Electabuzz. Yeah, you're right. This is... Okay, alright, I want to spend some time on the next one. So this one, I thought about it a lot. I like the old design way more. I love the way that it is with it spiky, but I like it more in a vacuum where it's the only thing that exists. Uh, and if I take into account the fact that there's a magmar that it's evolving into, the new design makes a lot more sense. I like both of these yeah. designs. The new I, design makes more sense as something that's evolving into the magmar because it's got right. a little butt head going on. I, I, I like both of these designs. I think... Uh, it was just a coin flip. It could have been, if, if this was Gen 4, that could have been a gender difference. That could have yes. easily just been like Absolutely. a... Absolutely. This could have been male, female. Yeah. Absolutely. That That's the best I... Yes, this could have been a gender difference. Because they are pretty close. I mean, the only difference is their hairstyle. Yeah. And the, the colors. I, I, I like that. I think that's what should have happened. Maybe someday. Well, it's, it's too late. Now. It's too late to, to do that now. I wish. Um, this is terrifying. Yeah, I agree. This is nightmare fuel. I'm very glad they changed it. Also, it was grass poison, which, which would have made been no sense. It's the it's already just the worst choice. No sense. It's already just objectively. Why would you spend the time? Right, right. So I'm glad they went <clears throat> pure gra pure grass. Mm, that cool. gave you at least something. Now, are you ready for this next one? No. Answer no. It's another grass poison. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to read the description. Yeah, yeah. This makes Weepin Bell have a split evolution path. Yeah. You can go grass stone or huh, leaf stone. Yeah. And get a grass poison type. A poison stone. Or a poison stone and, and, and grass get poison. grass poison. poison. Mm. And that's why it was canned. And that's why I was canned. And that's the exact reason right They now. also looked at it and thought, this thing is hideous. If they would have done these two, the two we just talked about, mm -hmm. there would have been way too many grass poisons. Way too many. This was just a duplicate. They said, you know what, Blossom was designed. They probably had another design for this as well. A I don't know how Gen 1 happened and they thought, let's make every grass poison. Right. Uh, to an extent, I get that. Like, if it's a grass type, it's either going to be grass poison grass grass or grass bug i think that makes the most sense they didn't want to branch out too far right um because it was early days yeah. um but i'm glad they didn't keep this one because mm -hmm. this now we can just turn this thing into a meme yeah and that's what it looks that's good what for. it is um next one is the same uh, except it looks like it's saying do not milk me it's a hundred th this one is at least a hundred pounds lighter yeah this one maybe is, 200. This one is a terrifying threat in a gym, and the other one is not. No, this one ain't gonna move. This one can't roll out. Right, it's no, stuck. no, no, no. They, so they had this design. They were like, yes, that's it. That's our milk tank. I, Great. I don't like this design because of its face and hands in a position that says, don't. It looks like it's terrified. Right, And right. saying, dude, get away from me. No, don't milk me. Look, 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 look. So they had this. This is this is how I think it went down. Yeah. They had this design, and they were like, cool, that's our milk tank. Great. It looks so and sad. And then they designed Whitney yeah. and the gym. And then they decide to design the move roll out. Yeah. And they were like, okay. We gotta fix this. Mill tank will be, uh, uh, we need to thin it up a bit. Yeah. Okay. Why doesn't this exist? I love this. Water fire. I wish the water fire existed outside of Volcanium. Outside of Volcanium before 2013, no, 14 probably was when he came around. Volcanium, it, first of all, they never released the freaking thing that lets you get them in the game like where they were intending to. Where they clearly were intending to leave the Vulcanian access. Wait. In Gen 6, remember where there's like the power plant here you can never go to? It looks like maybe that's the perfect place to find Vulcanian in. Is that where Vulcanian was supposed to be? I think it was. Oh my god, my life. That's the one area of all the games that I just want to go back. You know, winter remakes for that. We, right. need, a, we need another game but for instead, Gen 6 Gen. You, you can only get that Pokemon through somebody hands it to you. How cool, right? How exciting. What are... <laughs> so boring when that happens. And then... This, this was such a cool design. Yes! And if it would have been finished, because this is a beta design, 
If it would have been finished... This wouldn't have been a good Pokemon. This would have been Pokemon with mediocre stats. This is not a large and in charge Pokemon. Right. Right? This is like a... Maybe it could have evolved, but they didn't plan anything yet. I'm but so, it would have been a cool Pokemon! I'm so sad this isn't a Pokemon. The next one... Uh, I'm glad they just... I'm glad they did what they did. Just a yeah. small change. They made it less... Less clearly derivative. Water ice to ice flying. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Makes that makes sense. sense. That makes sense. Um, the next one, though, this is adorable. This is Toga Tomorrow. This is Toga. This is uh, Dedenne. Dedenne. That's what I meant to say. Well, yes, both. Correct. <laughs> it's like both of them. Um, yeah, I it's, it's really it's, just a mixture of the two of those. Yeah. Um, you know why I, I don't think I got any further than that? Because Raichu already has Tiger Stripes. Right. And what does the, the like this thing is cute and all? It's adorable and I love it. Why is its cry similar to Dragonair's, and why is that note so specific? Uh, I think they did that because there was an early placeholder, and there, you two in Paris have the same cry. True. So, I think that that that's what that has to do with it. I don't know why they felt the need to note that. So does this need to? Did this need to happen? No. No, but it's a. It was, but there weren't. Cool. There aren't that many electric types. I would have loved. Yeah, early on, the in generation one, the only electric type that I'm looking at is Jolteon, because Raichu is squishy and not too great. I don't like him that much in Gen one. I love him in Gen six. Magneton was pretty three. cool. Also, we forgot about him when we were talking about steel types yeah. earlier. Magneton's great. Uh, when he evolves into Magneton. Yes. I am out. Before then, Magneton, you got him at like such a late point uh -huh. in the game where you're done with everything where you're worried about. Right. Like you're past, uh, you're past Cerulean, you're past any other major boss fights where you you need an electric. Deck. I just realized I was wrong on something I said earlier, but we'll yeah. get to it in a minute. But like, <clears throat> and then in Gen two, uh, Electrode's just worse. Built on. It's faster, but it, it, it's not important that it's faster so we right uh then in gen 2 they give you ampharos which is a totally different take on an electric type uh but i i mean if you're not if you didn't like it you didn't like it and then you had no other real options for i mean you had lantern i guess but that was a weird right that was more of a water type with electric on the side right it's bulky water and has electric this would have been cool maybe. maybe 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 now the next one we absolutely need yeah. It could have even stayed this design. An evolution of Farfetch'd. That's cool. Absolutely needed it 100%. Put it in the game now. Put it in Gen 8. Like, like, put it in Gen 8. I'm okay with that. I am okay with getting this Pokemon in Gen 8. Farfetch'd needs its evolution. This Pokemon is sick looking. This is one of the best designs in the beta. It didn't come through. I agree. The next, I just saw the flavor text for the next. Really. Yeah. Um, this thing, uh, which I'm kind of confused as to why it doesn't just look like a substitute doll. Well, it's a voodoo doll. Yeah. There's a pin through it. And it evolves at level one into this thing. Which, I don't know what that... So does it pop out, it's born, and it dies and immediately evolves? Yes. That's why they killed this That's thing. That's why they thought, they thought this That's thing That's why stupid. they said nay. There's no reason for the first one to evolve, or to exist, if it evolves at level one. Other the, than... The lore. The lore and just like... Uh, Being creepy. What's the, what's the word? What's the word? Um, morbid. Yeah. It's just morbid. So I'm glad they kept both of them. Yeah. Um, Murkrow, this is similar to Delibird. I'm glad they changed what they did. Yeah. I would have um, been cool with either one, but... Yeah. yeah, it's a witch's hat, but I mean, we don't need it to be that, like... No, because I like that it gives it the opportunity for... Honchtro would not exist right now the way that it is if right. they never changed her. Right, right, right. Um... <clears throat> so this design... I like it and I don't. Uh, it looks bad. The heart looks like a butt. It looks like a butt on its head. Yeah. It's got, it's got eggs on its side, like it's, like it's, it's pulling like out a, guns. Yeah, no, it's like it's. I'm packing. Right. I'm packing eggs. <laughs> it's gonna shoot eggs at you. Pulling out its Batman utility belt eggs. I don't think Chansey evolves into this thing. 
I can see it. Chansey getting smaller and wider. No, no, no. Blissey is, is perfect. infinitely better. It evolves level 45. That's crazy. What is it normally? Happy day. Um, okay, moving on. I was going to say, Blissey, I mean, honestly, you could rock Chansey until 45. Right, right. But, um, moving on. It was originally green, and it had... I love it's more angular. It was green, face. it was more... <clears throat> it was yeah. bigger. It was, it was bulkier. It was more angular. Look at this monster. So the back sprite, its head looks a lot more like Scyther's. A lot more like Scyther. A lot more like Scyther. But it was originally bug flying. Mm -hmm. So when they changed it to bug steel, it makes like, perfect sense yeah. why they changed it. They're like, I want to make this sleeker. Sleek, right, right. I, perfect sense. I love a lot of these. I feel like a lot of these were, we haven't thought of the dark steel type yet. Right. And that they were like, this is a perfect candidate. Let's right. fix it. I love Scizor. He's one of my top 15 favorite Pokemon. Absolutely love it. Um, the next one... This one, I've heard. So I've seen some theories about this one. Actually. I've seen some about this as well. Yeah. It was going to be an evolution from Pinsir. Yeah. Turned out they were like, skirt, and made Heracross. Yeah, yeah. Because this is literally Heracross. Yeah. Except like, and then can we talk about what what's this? What's his face? What face? Like eyes here. That's a weird face. That looks like a mask. Yeah, that it is looks like his face like. should be on the other side. It's a really cool looking design, but I feel like it didn't match like an evolution to... I'm very thankful yeah. that they made Heracross Me and just made it a parallel to Pinsir yeah. with their Mega Evolutions, yeah. um, because I love Heracross. Heracross is actually one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon. Heracross is cool. Absolutely love it. I still like this design though. Like I would not have been sad if I got this design in some way, shape, or form. If Pinsir evolved into this, but then we would also need a Her we, we yeah. need Heracross. We need this thing design, redesigned to look more like Pinsir, which I yeah. guess it already looks really like Pinsir. I guess right. those two are this just... This is just a cool design to see. What if there was a pre-evolution... Yeah, of Heracross? Of Heracross Pinsir. Yeah, that'd and be cool. it's just a branch. Depending on what to do, it goes into Ooh, one of those two. That would be cool. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. It evolves with fighting move, it becomes Heracross. Um, so we talked about the cats earlier, and my mm -hmm. theory that it became this. Apparently I'm wrong. completely wrong. Um, because they were they were already here, um, they're really close. They got less edgy. Look at this skull on his. It's still there. It just minimized it. Yeah. Because I don't think I've ever seen that skull there. Always been there. I, I mean, I, hellhound. I don't think I noticed. Because this is just like blatant. In it's your like face. Boom. And these bones on their back are yeah. much more pronounced. I they're, like the. New I think it's much more like if you scroll up, it's clearly like skeletal. Right. Look at that. Whereas the other ones are just like this is a bone. I like the new ones much better. I do too. Um, they're originally fire type. I'm glad they changed. I'm glad they added. The that wouldn't have made any sense for it boring. to just be fire type. Yeah. Um, I think they designed this and they're like, oh, this is a perfect candidate for dark type. Like right, that. for sure. Yeah. Um, wolf man. It's a werewolf. It evolves to this thing. Pure ice type. This is a Digimon. This is another Digimon. Um, I don't remember the name of it. I haven't seen it in a long you know time. What I'm talking about. I do. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Um, it's a very uninspired, just fluff ball Pokemon. It's also, I think, early Snover and maybe Obama Snow. Maybe. Because this doesn't really look like a werewolf to me. I mean, no. I guess I get it, but I don't. I don't understand what they were going for at all here. I, but I understand it a little bit more than the next one. <laughs> the next one. The next one? I love what they did with new pouring on too. They said, let's make it sleeker. Let's make an let's make it actually upgrade. Yeah. Um Apparently this is like the mascot to something something. Probably part of the reason why they didn't do it. I don't even know what Legal to say. Issues. Like this thing is ugly. Yeah, I don't like it. It's hideous. Reminds me of cast form. It's hideous. I don't care what it is. Hideous. <laughs> so is the next thing. Hideous. I don't like this. Early Licky Licky, thank you. Thank you so much for taking this back. What does new Licky Licky look like? Hideous. That is such a, an irrelevant Pokemon. They're both hideous. I have not seen... Honestly, I feel like I would prefer this to new Licky Licky. Oh my god. <laughs> um, can we just can both of them? Can both of them. 
Can both of them. We don't need either of them. Honestly, I would rather have this than... We don't need either of them. Can we just forget that Lickitung exists yeah. and move on? This Steel is, I think, my nailed. favorite of all of them because it's 100% same. Yeah. Whoever did this one said, Boss, this is Steelix. Yeah. And Boss went. The boss was like, Oh my God! It was amazing. Yeah. I think I think it's one of the best. One of the best. One of the best. So good. Now, which one was not one of the best? <laughs> well, <laughs> I think this one's pretty cool. I think it's cool that this actually looks like a dragon. I think there's nothing about Kingdra that screams dragon to me. But it's more Seedra. It's more yeah. horsey. This thing, I get it. It's a king. This looks more like a king dragon, which is literally its name. This is more of a queen. It could have just been gender different. Yeah. Or just branching evolution. Basically. Right, right, right. Yeah. But it could have been the gender specific. Yeah. That totally would have made sense. But at that time, they didn't it do wasn't stuff like that. Yeah. At that um, time, they just introduced gender as a concept. Right. If the it Pokemon, was Pokemon, and they were like, "Shoot, we made a mistake with Nidoran and Nidoran." If they would have held off on Kingdra until Gen Four with the rest of the ones that they did, mm -hmm. and just like when you had Gallade and Gardevoir, you could have done the exact, exact same, same thing, thing here. Ooh. Okay. Are you ready to get into? Are you ready to get into Sad these boys. three? Are you ready to get into these three? Okay. Uh, who here has watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? <laughs> Are you? I have not. Oh, okay. So, but I, I've I've heard other people point out point that out. Okay. So I I, I haven't seen anyone else point that out. I just just the first thing that I thought is this is this is not a Pokemon. No. But if when you look at the three of these, and we're going to talk about them individually because they're the legends, we deserve they deserve to be talked about individually. They are the dogs. 100% it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. All of the lore that goes behind them, now we understand why, because they're literally dogs. Yeah. Okay. Raikou is A cool the, design. It's a cool design, but it's not a Pokemon. No. Uh, it's not even a Digimon. It's, I guess, a full metal alchemist. Yeah, it's something, fun. something. Um, because it has no place in this game. God, even the uh, third one looks also reminds me of this. We'll, 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 we'll talk about it. I got the most to say about that third one. Okay. Anyway, I... It, right, bleh, bleh. Um, I would use it on my team if it was not a legendary, if it was like a Pokemon I saw in the wild. I'd probably pick one up. That's Zeb Striker. Yeah. Well... That's like early Zeb Striker. Yeah, but that looks cooler than Zeb Striker. This... Is male Rapidash? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, I can see that. That is male Rapidash. That's not. I don't even know if that's a dog. That's a dog. Uh, <laughs> I looked at it again. Legendary that's very beasts. The dog. Um, Entei infinitely better. Entei infinitely. Entei is such a. Cool. Now, which one is the most infinitely better? This one. This one also reminds me of the same. Thing. Pokemon Crystal comes out, and this is on the cover. Nobody buys Pokemon Crystal. Nobody buys Pokemon Crystal. Not, it's not my favorite game of all time. Not a single person. Buys. Yusin is looking for a different Pokemon. He goes, Suicune? What the? No! Ah, get that thing away from me! Or, you know, in his in his voice. Um, oh, I'm, I'm getting emotional. I saw the next one. Uh, let me cover up the next one real quick. Uh, but, um... Imagine Pokemon Crystal. I, I know I just said it. Yeah. But imagine Pokemon Crystal comes out and this thing is on the freaking cover. I would not have bought it. It would not. The Pokemon franchise may not have taken off like it did. Yeah. Because Crystal was, I think, a big part. Now, Gold and Silver were probably bigger parts of that. But I mean, to, Gen 1 was the biggest explosion. But people were unsure how it was yeah. going to work with another game. Yeah. Gen 2 came out and it did wonderful, but I think setting up to continue having generations i think crystal was the one that Very knocked important. it out of the park yeah. i'm biased it's my favorite game of all time uh top three um <clears throat> i'm glad that they did what they did when they did it i almost feel like crying who 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 i need a name i need a name game freak i need to know who mm. Put the 
this in a game and thought it was even relatively okay. You can't do that to my mascot. You can't do that to my mascot. Don't call this early Sneasel. This is a, not even a placeholder. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. And if this is your hard work, you suck. Can we move on? It's cute. No, it's not. We can move on. Yeah, dang. All right. This, I, I love good. all of it. Yeah, I love all of it. I feel like they just reused that for like the, or not reused it for like the puzzle. Bit. The puzzle at the ruins of Alf. Mm -hmm. This is the puzzle. I think that's so cool. I think it's just cool. It's cool that the, the ruins is where they use the beta. Yes. They re and this is a sick. This, it's a sick. I would have been okay with either one. I love Ho-Ho. Let me just say I'm so glad that these games came out on the Game Boy Color where you were capable of having a multicolored Ho-Ho yes. like this. And not just the one not just monochrome. This this being the rainbow Pokemon? No. That would have been rough. Now, it was flying originally. I am so happy. Yeah, it's a phoenix! Changed. It's a phoenix, and its signature move is sacred fire. Sacred flying. Sacred flying. That's it. I'm gonna hit you with a, a, an arrow blast. That's pretty much what sacred fire yeah, would be. Okay, last couple. We're, oh my god. Welcome to the longest video on my channel. Um, next up. <clears throat> same as these. Pretty much the same. No, no, no evolution. Disagree. I am so happy. Togetic. Don't you say Togetic. Togetic is a thing. Togetic even, used to be one of my favorite Pokemon. I didn't even like Togetic. Probably still is top Togekiss 20. Togekiss came out and I'm like, Togekiss is... I used it in my Gen 4 or whatever. No! Togetic. I will keep Togetic. You know, there are some YouTubers, I am actually might be wearing their shirt right now, um, that instead of going to Magmortar, mm -hmm. he will run with a Magmar the entire game. If I had the chance to go to a Toga Kiss and I had a Toga Tick, go on Toga Tick the whole game. I mean, I do that with that, bro. So See? I can't judge. You can't even say. I you could have had Nalakazam. Could have had Nalakazam. Sorry, we're, we're not getting into that. Abra is just objectively the best Pokemon. I have ran Abra in multiple OU squads. Uh, done the same amount of work that I would have with an Alakazam. This snubble's like the same, except it's not pink, right? It was originally psychic. Weird. And it had no evolution. It was Weird. female only. I feel like these last few yeah. were super early. Well, these two were super early. Mm -hmm. I think these two were super early. Togepi and Snubble, they were super early because they were obviously nailed right from the beginning. I think with Snubble, they, they wanted to experiment with the concept of the male or the female Pokemon or whatever. So right. boom, female only. Makes sense. Right. Um, I want to know why when they added gender in and they were fully capable of making a Pokemon male only or female only. Like mm -hmm. they did with Tauros, they made it male only. They made Kangaskhan female only. They made Biltank female only. Why did they make Mr. Mime? Oh God. Mrs. Mime. Why did they not? Oh. Why did they, why did that one oh, slip? Oh gosh. That's, hmm. Why did that one get through the cracks? I just thought about that right now. Cause I was like, oh, they couldn't do anything <sighs> post emptively, whatever. Yes, they but they did it. do so many things yes, post emptively. Yes, they anyway, I'm not worried about it. All right, it. moving on to the last one because I'm not acknowledging the last one. <laughs> no, we have a palm, which it was a beta po beta Pokemon. They redesigned it. A palm is infinitely better. A palm used to be one of my favorite Pokemon as well. Now, the one on the left, interesting, uh, really weird. It's Go a cat. There. Yeah, it's uh, a cat monkey. The one on the right, that's a Digimon. That's, a, that's Mon Mon. No, I think Mon Mon came after this thing. Probably. But that is Mon Mon. I'm not a Mon Mon fan. Okay, and then last. Uh, it also reminds me of the same Full Metal Alchemist character. Daddy? Oof. Um, anyway. Anyway. So uh, they were going to put in three grass evolutions for Eevee. In Gen 8, can we please get a couple more types? Can we finish this Eevee thing? They've got to do it eventually. They're just probably trying to come up with ways on how to evolve. I, you know, just give Eevee a Dragon type and be done with it. 
and that's it. I don't want to see every type be an evolution. I just want them to be dragon type and it's done. Buzz. Also, Eevee needs a bi-level evolution. Maybe, yeah. But like, if you think about it, think consider the following. If you want to continue the trend where it has the same base stats, it gets really weird when you distribute past a certain amount. And it gets really weird when you when you start when you start making these Pokemon like boom, uh, pure rock type EV evolution with these stats. Um, you have to do something to make it set apart from the rest of a pure rock type <clears throat> or whatever to make it a relevant Pokemon. Somebody's gonna care about like a pure steel EV. They gotta care about it. At this point, there's so many alternate choices. Yeah. That you add those to the game and they don't matter. But the dragon type at least would be cool lore wise. Because then you have the whole um, before the physical special split. How do you remember what type is physical or what type is special? Evolutions. Oh, yeah. Plus yeah, dragon. Yeah. Uh, that, that would make perfect sense. Evolutions plus dragon is all special types. Anything that was not an evolution or a dragon. Is right. It. And then I think I need. I, I think it needs to go to a, a normal. Yeah. A normal type uh, by level evolution. I think that would make perfect. Dragon. Anything else? This thing's hideous, and I'm glad we got Leafy on as we did. Leafy on's cool. Not that version. Gross. Uh, who should we leave it on? As that that Suicune looks like it got caught on some seaweed, walking underwater, and did not did not remove the seaweed. All right. Well, I guess that is the end of our of our demo Pokemon discussion. That was an hour and a half of a discussion, <laughs> a bit longer than I expected, but that's okay. We went through all of them. If you watch the whole thing. I it's it's required. You need to put a hashtag. Uh, hashtag. What 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 should the hashtag be? That is not something that they would just hashtag. Um. Uh, hashtag seaweed legs. All right, fine. I guess I, I guess I'll leave it down here. Yeah. Hashtag seaweed legs in the comments if you made it all the way through. Um, let me know what your favorite of all of these is, and if you have any thoughts on what should have stayed in different than we did. Um, let me know. I need to know definitively what you think. Um, but yeah, that'll be it. If you checked out today's video, if you checked out this video, thank you so much for checking it out. Um, check out Neighbor. Link is in the description. <laughs> feel like I, I'm doing a mystery dungeon outro. Check, check it out. Um, check, check it out. Yes. Check it out. Um, we will see you in the next video for whatever that may be. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.